What if I told you there is a brand new golf club that you can buy for £119 online that is forgiving, looks great, feels great, and is perfect for the mid to high handicap golfer? You'd say it's probably a cheap, horrible, branded golf club. Well, actually, it's a Wilson. Now, Wilson Golf Clubs have won major after major after major, and unless I'm factually wrong, I think I've won more majors than any other golf brand. Yes, granted, it was probably a few years ago, but they're still winning on tours with their players. Well, this is the Launchpad version of their branding. They've got Dynapower and they've got Launchpad, and this is designed for those people with slower swing speeds, mid to high handicap golfers, and those people who need help 99% of golfers are actually probably people who want to go in this. Now, your pings, tailor-mades, tightlist fairway woods are in the two to even 300 pound bracket. You can pick this golf club up, this Wilson Launchpad fairway wood, brand new for 119 pounds online. That is a bargain, but does it perform anywhere near as good as the others? Well, today we're going to find out. Now, I'm going to manage expectations. I do not expect this golf club to hit bombs. I do not expect it to go for miles. I expect it to go pretty short distance, spin hard, but be forgiving and be in play a lot of the time. Because that's what it's designed for. It's got a lightweight head. It's designed with a lightweight shaft. So it's designed for people with slow swing speeds. It has draw bias. So it's designed for people who maybe lose that ball to the right. A lot of what amateur golfers and high handicap and mid handicap golfers do. So does it do that? Well, there's the draw bias. What I expected, right to left ball flight. Absolutely everything I expected with a draw bias. It does have a little bit of offset here, but it's not a lot. It's not the Big Bertha, the BB21 Big Bertha that had a lot of offset. So it doesn't have that much offset. It has a little bit, but that's what someone who's in this club is going to want. They're gonna want offset. They want that face to be just that little bit delayed to square it up. Now. Spin, 4,800, as expected. High spin, lightweight, everything. But it's easy to hit. Now that's, you know that's done all right. That's done really well. Just started left of target, so I maybe need to sort of change my alignment. A nice high draw, ball speed up at 150, nearly. 148, really good. Launch angle, 13, really good. Spin, near 4,000 and a carry of 234. That's pretty good. Like it's not bombs, but it's controllable, it's spinny, it's gonna get the ball in the air, it's gonna do everything the person in this golf club wants it to do. Right, let's aim a little bit to the right. Let's hit target. So, I hit that horribly. Like, really, really bad. But it's got up in the air. It has geared, because I hit it so far out the toe. But it's still gone 213 yards. Like, I can't grumble with that. But I need to hit one somewhere in the middle. Again, not the greatest start line. It's going left, so I, I, I would really have to change where I'm aiming. But not a lot of movement. Slightly high draw. Launch angle, ball speed, really good. But the spin, that's what people who want this club is for. 4,700 spin and a carry of 230. Let's challenge myself a little bit now. Are you getting much technology? Not really. There's a bit of a thinner face for extra ball speed, but what you're getting with this is a lightweight head and then a lightweight even flow shaft. This is a 60 gram S flex, which is actually 55 grams. So pretty lightweight for what I would normally have in a fairway wood. But altogether, with it being lightweight, that means your swing speed can pick up. So those of you who are in 
uh, a slower swing speed bracket. Something like this will just help you pick up a bit of extra swing speed and because of that a bit of extra yardage. So let's challenge ourselves. I'm not going to leather these. I'm going to try and hit these at a reasonable speed and see if I can hit fairways with them and see what if we can get the ball in the air. What I will say though looking down at this golf club is it looks superb. It looks great with a little lineup marker and then these little accents around the top of it. They just, they line the ball up really well and centrally, which is a big thing for me. Right, let's see if we can hit some fairways. Look at the height on that. Absolutely brilliant height. Only gone sort of 207 yards, but that's fine. You know, I'm not swinging it out full out. I'm just a, like a low swing speed. Really good peak height, nice high fade. Super spinny, so that's where the distance drop off is, but that's where the forgiveness aspect is. And then a total of 220 yards. And that was probably with around about 100 mile an hour club head speed. Maybe just a little bit less, maybe just sub 100 with a ball speed of 142. Right, let's have another go. It's just super easy to hit. Overturn that one a little bit. Gonna go in that bunker. But it's not too bad, it's in play. In play, great launch angle, great spin again. It's, it is an easy club to hit. Certainly when you're sort of swinging it a little bit easier, it's definitely easier to hit. If I try and go at this full speed, I just doesn't feel like it's timed correctly for me. But at this slow swing speed, it just feels fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That's just bottom down the middle. There's not really a lot wrong with this golf club. It sounds great. It feels great. You know, it looks as good as anything. And, I'm, and I mean that. It really does look as good as anything. And actually, it's super forgiving. Like you just swing easy at this. It is finding fairways all day long. All in all, you cannot knock a fairway wood that is, spins great, launches great, is really, really forgiving and actually will fit into so many people's bags and it costs 119 pounds. Brand new, wrapped, sealed off the internet. It is, it is really difficult to justify if you're sort of mid-teens and high 20s or whatever handicap to justify spending two, 300 pounds on a fairway wood when there's one available for 119 pounds that is arguably absolutely perfect for you. Is this somewhat a club that's designed for people with faster swing speeds? No, it's not. It's, it would spin too much, it would launch too high, um, but that's not what it's designed for. The launch pad range is designed for mid to high handicappers, slow swing speed players, maybe those people who are sort of aging a little bit and slowing down. If you're that type of person, save yourself an absolute fortune and go and test the launch pad range driver, fairways and the launch pad irons because they're really, really easy to hit. And I think if I wanted to give up a bit of distance and just get for accuracy, like I couldn't, I'd have to play them. I'd have to play them. Anyway, I hope you've liked that video. And if you have, and you've gained something from it, please do hit that like button down there. And also if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button there. It would mean the world to me. I have lots of stuff coming from club reviews, following my own journey and on course, course vlogs. Then in order to be notified, please do hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell. But until next time, I'll maybe hit a few more of these, but I'll see you all on the next video.